watch fans. I have absolutely no idea what this is, but it is one of my, I don't know, six or seven boxes I have left to go through. So I'll just get right into it. I think it might be from Watch Gang. I'm just, I'm really not sure. So I'll recognize it when I see it, but... Shield. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's see what this, what is this? It doesn't actually say. All right. Well, it looks like pretty decent quality. It's pretty nice. All right. Um, I'll see what I can find out about this watch, uh, and I will make a video if I can. Otherwise, we'll just get right into the view. Thanks. The Shield Watch Company was first founded in 2015 by a Dutch entrepreneur and is owned by the same managing company that owns Heritor and Rain Watch Companies. This is made apparent by the use of the same packaging materials as are used by Heritor and Rain. Going to both RainWatches.com and HeritorWatches.com, both reveal the same contact information as Shield Watch Company. Shield Watches has management offices in three locations. Their primary office and studio design location is located in Manchester, England in the Graphics House Manufacturing and Office Center. There also exists a USA-based office located in West Bloomfield, Michigan, and finally, a small design office in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Shield strives for greatness with three distinct goals. Going the distance. A true diver's watch is in accordance with the ISO 6425 standard, which defines standards for watches suitable for diving in depths of 100 meters or 330 feet or more. Shield watches double that at 200 meters standard. Designed for speed. High contrasting, non-cluttered dials and markers with a large, easily identifiable minute hand differentiates diving watches from the rest. Attention to detail. Our hands and markers are treated with a phosphorescent superluminova, which make them readable in low light conditions. All shield watches are quartz powered that include either Japanese or Swiss movements. The company primarily focuses on dive watches, but also offers field and multi-use watches with a typical price range between 250 and 1400 US dollars. According to shield, no matter how far, how deep or how long you go, this watch will be right by your side. All right, watch fans. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about the Shield Company. Um, as you know, they are the same company that manufactures Rain Watches and uh, Heritor. Um, you know, they it's the same design offices. It's a company that produces uh, watches from very high quality parts, but usually produced in uh, areas like Hong Kong and stuff. But the parts are sourced from all over the world and very high quality parts. And, and I will say, right, like if you made Rolex in Hong Kong, that's not suggesting that the quality is going to be any different, right? It's just about the people that you hire and the standards that you maintain in your manufacturing. So uh, there is, there's that. Uh, the Abyss, which is what this model line comes from, and uh, I was very happy to get this because I really like these colors. Um, very happy with these colors. Now, I got this on the Watch Gang Wheel uh, Tier 1 wheel. This is a Tier 1 watch, uh, and I'll go into detail about the watch, of course, but this is really, really good quality. I, I think, God, what did I pay for my spin? I think it was like $46. So, you know, this is an, a spectacular watch for for $46. And, and, and I think that was for 150 points. And this spin was only 100 points. So, I, really, I think I probably spent something like 30 some odd dollars. It, it's hard for me to kind of figure out, really, because, you know, you buy the points and then you can spin. But in this case, uh, this this was like the lower end of my 
of my win. The other one was was a very expensive, uh, many thousand dollar watch uh, that I that I also got. So clearly, I I ended up <laughs> winning out. Um, oh, I didn't even realize it. It looked like there was a scratch, but this is actually has protective coating on it also, which is kind of nice. Look at that. Now it really shines. <clears throat> so. Um, this watch retails for 300 euros, which comes out to about 365 US dollars effectively uh, in today's conversion rate. Uh, the Shield Company primarily produces dive watches, and this is one of them, and, and this is the, the Abyss, their entry-level model. But uh, again, I, I very much like this watch. I mean, I love the colors. I think it just looks spectacular. I really like it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I have so many watches. I, I just like reviewing them, but I also, God, I mean, what do I do, <laughs> right? Especially now that I've got a fitness tracker, which, by the way, this is a great watch, but <laughs> what, I mean, oh, it's so frustrating, right? This is, I guess, men's jewelry and, and also for women to some extent. Uh, very nice bezel. Uh, it's 90 clicks all the way around, uh, uh, unidirectional, but uh, it's... Uh, it's very nice. One of the things I like about this, and, and I know I'm kind of skipping around here, but I just want to kind of cover all these things, is that <clears throat> the case back is actually very interesting. One of the things you'll notice is that uh, it has a different design. It uses what's called the, well, it has a couple different things. It uses the, uh, the Rolex style of case back, which is decidedly different than most of the other ones. It also has these holes, too, so you can use the standard one of these right to go in the hole and remove it but you can also use um and i'll show a picture of it if i can get it out <clears throat> let's see where is it uh the rolex series which uses essentially these tools right and they just kind of they pop on the back and then you can kind of unscrew them that way which i've always thought was pretty cool so there's there's that um, <clears throat> see what else can I say about this watch so it is a hardened mineral, mineral crystal it's not sapphire but that's not a big deal it's hardened crystal uh, you're probably not going to scratch it unless you're really really beating it up um, it has a crown guard which is nice that's always important too especially for divers because you know, you've got a lot of equipment and you don't want to knock the crown off but in addition to that it is also a screw down crown which is cool and I get a kick out of that that time's good. So I like that. And it has a uh, gasket, incidentally, it has a gasket in the back of the crown and also one in the shaft. <clears throat> so that works very well for it. Uh, this bracelet is also very high quality. It's coated in plastic right now. I don't feel like taking it off, but uh, solid links, which is a big deal to me. I can't stand those stamped and rolled links. Um, you know, just, just good good quality all around. Um, you know, I'm not going to say like Rolex quality, but it is still still very good. Uh, the name is etched into there on the back. It's on the face and on the crown, which is very nice. You know, the, this company that produces all these watches, Shield, Heritor, Rain. Like here's an example of a Rain watch. Um, you know, they really put uh, detail into their watches. And that's really important because you really want you know if you're going to spend money on a watch you really want something that's going to be nice um, that you're going to be proud to wear <clears throat> um, so 200 meters i'll put the chart up there at the top uh, you can do pretty much anything you want with that you can uh, go everything from snorkeling all the way to washing your hands so that is you know for perspective that is twice twice the length of a football or soccer field effectively so that's, that's pretty good. You know, you're not going to take it to Titanic, but if you're in the Keys, you're going to be able to take it snorkeling and some light scuba diving. Uh, or I, I guess I even say deep sea scuba diving, because that's 200 meters. It's still pretty far down. Uh, let's see, what else can I say? Uh, it has a Miyota movement, and I'll put pictures of it right up there. Uh, I checked it just to make sure, because I always like to see what, what I'm getting. Uh, nothing too spectacular, but <clears throat> remember, it is just a standard three-hand watch, so you wouldn't really expect anything uh, so fancy for that, right? There's no date or any of these other things, and really, 
perhaps you don't even really need that. I mean, how often do you really check your your watch for your date? I mean, I guess I guess I do. But if you're if you're diving, which is what you would use this for, you're not really too concerned about the date, right? You're not writing checks down un, underwater. So, <laughs> um, but good good three hand Miyota movement. Uh, I'll put the specs down at the bottom, just so you can kind of see specifically what it is. But uh, good uh, uh, life. I think it is uh, four years with battery and six years with the crown extracted or just pulled out because it has a built-in hacking feature. Uh, let's check out the loom so we can see that and I'll, I'll do that right now. There you go. So that's what it would look like in natural light as opposed to the LED that I normally use. <clears throat> Quite good. Of course, when it's oriented on your wrist, um, you know, no, no light up pip or bezel, but that's okay. Uh, let's get into the size. Let's say 42. Yep, 42. The lug, if you were going to change it out, 20. And the case depth is 12 and a half. Sorry, 12 and a half. So good size. And let's check the weight. I can't remember if I've checked it already. I might have done that earlier on. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> All right, watch. Come on. Here we go. So we'll say 167.5 grams. So it has some decent weight to it, and you know, and that's that's always important to me because, you know, you don't want it to be too heavy, but you want it to actually have presence, and you can actually feel it on your wrist as well. <clears throat> uh, I guess there's not much else to talk about with this watch. It's it's a pretty uh, self-explanatory, simple watch, but a uh, very nice watch nevertheless. So. All right, well, if you enjoyed this uh, this video, please leave a like. Uh, if you have any more questions about the watch or you want to discuss Watch Gang or any of those other things, please put it in the comments below. Just so we're clear, I do not make any money from them. <laughs> they make money from me. Although, I suppose with some of the watches I've been getting, <laughs> I could say that I make money from them when I actually, if I actually start to sell some of these. Um, and again, I really appreciate your subscription and your patronage. Uh, I don't do this for money. I just do it for fun. So, all right. Thank you very much.